Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So as you can see on screen here, we are finally unlocking the ability to be assigned a Bossalisk Slayer task, and we are also going to be extending the boss list to get as many assigned as possible. And then we are going to be starting loot from 10 hours of Bossalisk Nights. Hopefully do this all on task. That way the rare drop is 1 in 1,000 instead of 1 in 5,000 off task. We are starting with 3,000 Slayer points, so hopefully we get this assigned quickly. Uh, you know, these Slayer points took me like 20 hours to get, and I figure I gotta put them to use sometime, so this video uh, works perfect for that. As you can see so far, not a lot of luck, but uh, after about 1,000 Slayer points being spent, I finally got my first bossless task of the video. Before we get started into this grind, though, we do have some quick words from our sponsor today, Omega. That's right, ladies and gentlemen this game has a little bit of everything even has buildings that look like french fries they have uh you know as you can see just a lot of combat involved a little bit of multiplayer action a little bit of this a little bit of that and uh just look at these graphics i mean truly you know there's just there's just so much just there's so much for everyone i mean they can do anything in this game uh top fps shooter some ducks in the background there a little dinosaur you're not feeling this game that's okay it doesn't actually exist this video is actually Actually brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. You guys knew it. Come on, don't tell me you didn't. So let me just tell you a little bit about Raid. This is completely free to play. You can take it easy, play casually, or you can compete to be the best. Personally, my favorite thing about Raid is the champions. Here's my favorite being the miscreated monster due to his insane power in any fight. And I also love the fact that Raid gives you free shards and gifts on a daily and weekly basis. I also love summoning champions champions especially with ancient shards because you never know what you can get this is none other than raid shadow legends and this april raid is going on an egg hunt but we're not hunting for normal eggs we are hunting for dragon eggs we all know dragons uh, on this channel just download raid shadow legends using the links below copy your in-game player id and then head on over to egghunt.plarium.com from april 14th to may 15th enter your player id and then journey through the flaming portal to embark on an exciting AR adventure. Scour the dragon's lair using your phone, and if you find the hidden egg, you'll be in for a chance to win amazing in-game items, and my personal favorite part, even real-life prizes, ranging from legendary raid champions to Amazon gift cards with a total value of $20,000. This event is for new players, but existing raid players can join in on the excellent fun as well. Just go to Egg Hunt plarium.com and you'll find a special promo code that everyone can use to earn a small gift in game with all of this exciting stuff and more coming to raid if you haven't started playing yet then what are you waiting for use my link in the description or scan my qr code here on screen to get insane bonuses we are talking an epic champion drake from the lizard men faction and other useful things energy refills skill tome xp booster there really is no better time to get started don't miss out on the egg hunt as well and make sure you check out those links in the description or scan that qr code right now thank you so much to raid for sponsoring today's video let's get started all right so 10 hours of bossless nights here we are at the cave entrance uh, the main goal for this video is to get that jaw drop it'll be a new collection log piece and it'll be a nice little 20 mil cash stack once we sell it now the drop rate is uh one in 1000 when you are on slayer task and it's one in 5000 when you're not on slayer task and i've already killed 3000 of these so as i mentioned in the intro so i am very dry on this jaw over 50% of the way dry, I guess you could say. And now we're starting this with 234 Bosilisks on task, and for the first few inventories, I wasn't using Bracelets of Slaughter, but I quickly uh, did purchase them so that I could extend this task as long as it could be extended. The gear for this one is a simple set of full bandos along with that V-Shield. You're going to want to need that V-Shield equipped unless you want to take some heavy damage and stat reduction, so make sure to bring that shield. Uh, if you're a ranger, then make sure to safe spot this 
system using the safe spot either to the northeast or in the other room entirely as you can see on the map there there is a guy safe spotting i think you still might have to pray magic but at least you won't be taking any melee damage i've actually never ranged these but i can definitely see my iron man doing a long-term range grind here just because i love safe spotting on that account and it's probably going to be really laid back so i can definitely go for a draw on him eventually getting assigned a boss list task was a little rough for me uh it did take me an initial start of i think a thousand slayer points to get my very first task and i did decide to use duradel just because when i would go on google and see who assigned boss lists the most that's the answer that kept coming up so make sure to leave it in the comments below if i chose the absolute wrong slayer master for this video but uh, nevertheless we are still on the very first task so we won't uh, be talking too much about the slayer points until we have to go and spend some more as it goes for the inventory i just looked up a simple best in slot strategy guide on the wiki which covers the gear choice and the inventory choice the inventory layout and it's just simply a dragon dagger for your special attack although the fang works just as good and a construction cape to teleport out uh, back home rejuvenate myself and bank and then the firmanic boots to get back to where i was and the rune pouch which is filled with high alks because they do have some items that you can high alk on their drop table and it'll save some inventory space if you want to stay here for a decent amount of time after upgrading to the uh well i should say downgrading the barrows gloves to the bracelets of slaughter this enabled me to kill um, you know a couple more boss lists than i originally would have been able to on task and we want to be on task as much as possible for this monster because the drop rate is 5x you know less than it is off task i'll be completely honest with you guys unless you get a jaw drop here it is a very uneventful monster i think the highlight of it if you're on task is killing the superiors and if you're not on task i guess the highlight is probably just getting the clue scrolls they drop they do have a 1 in 192 drop rate of a hard clue which is very strange but if you do the combat uh hard combat achievements then that goes down to 1 in 182 so not a big difference and they're also known to drop basilisk heads which is 1 in a thousand similar to the rate of the jaw drop on task i already have about four basilisk heads in the bank so i'm hoping that i don't get one of those died to my first superior not good. And you also have that rare drop that almost every monster drops, which is the Curved Bone, which is 1 in 5,012. Let's really hope we don't spend all our RNG on that. You can also occasionally get Long Bones, which are 1 in 400, and that'll just go towards construction XP at the end of the video. I'll cash them all in. Other than that, you have the Mystic Hat Light, which is 1 in 256. Really not worth that much money. But for some reason, these bossless knights drop it. And then for everything else, you know, you have a couple rune items, a couple adamant items which I'm, sh I'm sure you've seen on screen by now and we're just really gonna be high alking all of that uh, i'm gonna keep the mystic hats in the bank because there's really just such limited drops here you can expect a lot of runes and some herbs a little bit of ore hopefully this fight goes better with the superior as I'm still doing Winter Tide on the Iron Man. But nothing too crazy, honestly. For as long as it takes to kill these monsters, the drop table is really not that impressive. But I suppose the fact that they drop a item that's worth 20 mil is probably why the drop table isn't that great. So overall, this was a pretty laid back grind for me. I didn't really have to pay attention much at all to the screen unless I got a superior spawn. It's just very AFK and it's very easy to kill these things, especially when you're maxed and you're just kind of, you know, on two accounts at once. Uh, my Iron Man was able to get done with a lot of things because of how laid back this was alongside this video i was doing loot from 10 hours of winter tot on my iron man which you guys should see in a few days i would say if you're looking at an hourly rate i was getting about 85 kills an hour on task and one thing i really noticed that would be so beneficial here but just really isn't worth the cost is a blood fury since you're praying magic you don't have to worry about taking any damage from that but of course you're you're gonna be tanking all the melee hits so of course you're gonna have to bank every so often because you're gonna run out of food um, and you really can't bring an SGS because you'll be unequipping your V-Shield unless you uh, do it on the right tick, but I don't want to risk that. So if you're like a Max May and you're very wealthy, definitely bring a uh, Blood Fury here. You'll be able to stay here for a very long time uh, unless you get a clue scroll and you want to teleport out and do that real quick. Uh, you should probably be able to limit your banking if that's the case with a Blood Fury, so keep that in mind. Overall, definitely not the most exciting monster that I've killed. Uh, these bad boys came out in 2019. Pretty much just a stronger variant of Bossalisk. Uh, 
uh, kind of like a pyre fiend is a low level, and then you have the stronger variant of it being a water fiend, although these are kind of the same exact monster. This is just bigger and badder. But anyway, we did finish our task. Uh, we killed 288 total, gaining a total of 102k XP and 15 points. So now it is time to get, hopefully soon, another bossless knight task. We have 2,100 slayer points left uh, from the initial start of 3,000. So it took 1,000 points for the first task at Duradel. We didn't get a back-to-back -back with the Max Cape perk, so let's hope he's not going to be too mean. You know, a little generous uh, goes a long way here. I would really like to see this task, because if not, you know, how are we going to finish this video, and how in the world are we going to get this jaw drop if the rate goes from 1,000 to 5,000? I mean, I know I'm, you know, 3,000 kills dry, but, you know, that rate still stays the same on the first kill and the 3,000 to 5,000th kill, so hopefully we get something here. But uh, it's not looking too good now, is it? You know, a lot of this video is literally just this one part being fast forwarded by 10x and uh you know to my surprise not only did i have to go through uh, a lot of slayer points but i had to go through all of my slayer points unbelievable that i didn't get uh more than one bossless task assigned and 3100 points but maybe you guys know something that i just didn't and maybe this was the wrong slayer master to go about getting assigned the bossless knight it really adds insult to injury getting assigned mutated zygomites at the end. Yeah, what can I say? I'm out of luck. So what can I say? I mean, you know, 3,500 KC, still no jaw, so we're gonna have to do the rest of this video off task, which, I mean, 6 hours and 43 minutes left, averaging 85 kills an hour, currently 3,500 kills. I mean, we should be well over 4,000 if everything goes to plan uh, after the end of the 10-hour grind here. So 4,000 KC out of 5,000, that's not too bad. Hopefully our luck pulls through for us, but if you use the word hopefully too much in one sitting, then you're probably not going to get lucky. You know, it's just that's my past experience with monsters. I'm just sipping on this coffee and I gotta let you guys know it's black. It's blacker than my lungs and honestly, I, I'm just I'm feeling good. You know why I'm feeling good? Because I'm in the middle of finishing a thousand RTO and it's probably one of my best videos ever. So even if we can't get the jaw in this one, don't you worry about it because I got so many videos ready to go, ready to upload that uh, the luck is, is certainly uh, relevant. It's certainly there in some of my videos and in other videos it's just non-existent but i'm not mad you know i remember when i did the demonic gorilla video for 10 hours and i was so upset that i didn't get a zenite shard um and by the way no spoiler alert i mean i can still get the job but you know things aren't looking too good right now but hey at least uh at the end there we can cash in 32 long bones i didn't know i had so many so i get a lot of construction xp from that as you can see uh you know the normal drops here are just just that they're just normal you know open up a few clue scroll caskets at the end see what we get from all those but yeah Bossless Knight's just a very laid back monster to kill. Probably one of those things that's good to kill in, uh, while, while you're progressing to 99 Slayer. Anytime you get this task assigned, you do have to, of course, unlock it and extend it, but uh, definitely do it. You know, it's probably a good Slayer task for XP, although they do take a little bit to kill, but good XP and, you know, good drops if you get the uh, jaw. I really haven't ever been assigned Bossless Slayer tasks before because I never unlocked it until this video. So uh, if you're in the midst of going for that 99 Slayer journey, make sure to unlock it before you start start because you, you never know what can happen with your luck. Maybe you'll get multiple jaws on your way to 99 or even 200 mil if you're a uh, 200 mil go-getter. And here's my current log showing that I'm almost at the 4,000 KC mark. And what's that on the ground? It's a curved bone. Same drop rate as the jaw. Yeah. I mean, who didn't see that coming, honestly? But uh, keep in mind, you do need a 60 Slayer to kill these things, and you do have to complete the quest of Fremenic Exiles. I don't even remember doing that quest because it was so long ago, but uh, I'm sure it didn't take long. So, you know, just one quest and 60 Slayer, very minimal Slayer requirement here. So that's really good for such a good payoff uh, if you do get that jaw. But ladies and gentlemen, I think you knew it was pretty apparent from the start till now. We did not receive the jaw in this 10-hour session, but that's okay. Okay, we're 4,000 kills in. We got to get it eventually, you know, so I'll definitely return here in the future, probably the near future, do it a little little side job there. But the overall loot from 10 hours of killing bossless knights does come out to be 3 million. We did get 824 kills in 10 hours, uh, three hours on task, six and a half hours to seven hours off task. Um, did manage to get a curved bone, which could have been a jaw, but no complaints. We're 4,100 kills dry of the jaw so far. But one day, 
Mark my words, one day we will get it. Uh, anyway, we got three hard clue scrolls. Pretty average uh, rewards from all that. I think a total of 264 from uh, all the clues. So, you know, nice little profit there. But not too much was made in this video. Take out supply costs and uh, what we got from the clues in the bossless nights probably close to like three mil profit maybe just shy of that so uh, we cashed in all the long bones got a nice little 175k construction xp and that's it for now thank you guys for watching sorry no luck this time around but i promise you in the next one there's a lot of luck there's a lot of luck so i'll see you then a big thank you to all of the youtube channel members with a special shout out to angels blood and matthew stivers thank you guys and until next time mr no sleep out